My name is Hayden Patello. I'm the digital design lead at Studio North. We're in the Varsity neighborhood right now, so the really interesting, I think, historical reference and also latent quality of the house that you see is that split level that characterizes so many of the properties and houses, not only in this neighborhood, but throughout the city in this time period. The ethos for the house's transformation really centers around the split level and the layout, as well as general spatial and design decisions as it relates to that. In looking at the original house and what we changed and what we maintained, there was quite a bit more division and walls and space up here than what we have now. And our design scope sought to open this space up and let it kind of be this single super volumetric open room. Part of that was taking down the walls and everything. Another big part of that is vaulting the ceiling and allowing for the volume of light and space and everything to make this feel as big as possible. And all the layout and program is based around having the main activities you spend most of your time doing during the day being centralized here as the focal point of the house. When you're coming in the house on that first ground level, you're looking up into here and anticipating coming here. And then also when you get out of bed in the morning from upstairs and you come out into the hallway and downstairs, you're also looking out into this really vast space and again, like looking forward to coming down here and starting your day. Because this is a 1960s house, we thought a, a fun reference would be to take some materials and design moves that were kind of popular around then and bring them into the new generation and use them in kind of new and contemporary ways. That line of thinking really started with the, the rattan for the screens and then sort of branching off of that as well, looking at sort of geometric cues from that era with some of the rounded bits. I think there's, there's things like these light shades, the kind of ombre, shade pendants that are that are interesting and offer a bit of something different. There's things like the change in direction of the hardwood floor kind of defined by the linear central axis of the house that I'm sitting on right now. The screens, the openings, the little kind of windows in it that you can peek through. There's these central walls right behind me where we there's some structure in there. There's also some mechanical cases so we took those constraints of the existing house and turned them into a really intentional design element to have the central focal point in the house. And when you look at it in plan, the kind of poche of those and their thickness is really striking and you really establishes the central axis of the house. That eventually also informed our furniture selection with how we're staging it is trying to get just nods of nods of fun and difference and eccentricism while still being relaxing, warm, calming. This sort of boucle chair I think is fun for that and just having like a bit of the, the fuzzy kind of soft and rich texture and the, the fun rounded soft shape but still you know as a, a broader piece on the palette really fitting into a cohesive whole that lends itself to a relaxing domestic environment. Thinking about infill housing and even just as a broad concept in switching your project model from tearing a house down and rebuilding it to keeping all the foundation, the structure, walls and everything and attacking the finishes and all of that level of thing, even kind of services and systems as well, you can save quite a bit of the the amount of embodied energy that you would have otherwise spent fully rebuilding and you know the longer you can extend the life the useful lifespan of those initial materials like concrete and wood that go in foundation and structure the better and then there's something really interesting and fun about taking existing things and being able to like sort of creatively transpose it into something new the split level, I think, still offers lots of cool design possibilities that really speak to 
contemporary ethos in what we and most designers like to do with house spaces, which is create openness, create natural light, create fluidity through choreography of hard versus soft boundaries. 